Good afternoon. I'm Mayumi Kamada from Kyoto University. Today, I'd like to introduce Metotsu Aldif project and what we are doing. What we are doing using the product, product of this project. So, this is a lab flow of clinical sequence for genomic medicine. And detected variant using sequence analysis are uh, filtered and curated based on public databases and publication for clinical interpretation. Actually, clinical interpretation is currently being, being done manually, so it's uh, difficult and it takes long time and it's a bottleneck of clinical sequence and genomic medicine in clinical settings. So to support clinical interpretation, we construct the knowledge base for clinical, clinical interpretation using public databases of life science and biomedical data domains using RDF. However, many databases don't provide it the, don't provide it in RDF format. So we, we have created a converter for each database. And these converters are published, but are released as the Docker container in the website of Metops RDF. And we, we have created the converters for these databases, as you hear, such as CleanBar and exact and so on. And to integrate these databases, we also created the methods already of ontology, as shown here. But as Toshia mentioned in the morning session, we, we created the converters, but there are, <laughs> there are many problems. So during the hackathon, we want to improve and try to <laughs> solve the problem. And I would like to talk about uh, after the integration of uh, knowledge club. So after the integration, we we apply knowledge knowledge club extracting from integrated knowledge base to machine learning. Here is the tasks we we are working on, and I work with them. They are also attending this hackathon. And we try to these prediction problems using graph convolutional neural networks. And first one is prediction of pathogenicity of genomic variant. Previous methods such as Polypen2 and Swift, it is a famous software to predict the efficiency by genomic variant and they use they only use feature vector um, obtained from amino acid sequence and protein protein structures on the other hand we we try to use biological networks structure with graph convolution networks using benchmark data set so, we evaluate our method, and the result shows using biological network with DCN is um, outperform previous method. And here is the result, but sorry to show to see because we are not preparing um, paper. But um, result shows using biological network is good for prediction. And second one is link prediction with GCN. It is a predict interaction between protein protein. And in the GCN framework, it calculates calculate scores for all, all edges between nodes. And using this score, we estimate the interaction between proteins. And this was done by 
Yosuke and Yoshihisa. And the third one is predict the relationship between protein and drugs. But it just started. So during the hackathon, they will work about this project. It's a conclusion and it's an acknowledgement for my colleagues and collaborators. Thank you. Thank you.